as the strike by more than 3,600 workers at American Axle and Manufacturing in Michigan and New York stretches into four weeks. Both sides are digging in for a bitter battle. The strikers have become the focus of opposition to the wage-cutting agreements engineered by the UAW throughout the industry. Reporters for the World Socialist website spoke to workers on the picket lines in Detroit. In this clip, workers from Chrysler and from American Axle denounced the attempt by the union to claim that concessions and wage cuts protect jobs. At the same time, the company has begun to shift production of parts for General Motors to facilities in Mexico in preparation for a long fight north of the border. All right, so what's your name? Okay, my name is Robert. And uh, wh what do you I think of... I Warren Truck. Okay. And uh, what I think of the American Axle Strike is uh, we as a union need to you know, work with them more. And uh, what affects them today will affect us tomorrow. So, I mean. And you said your brother is working there? Yes, my brother, my brother-in-law works there, and I have a few friends that works there also. What's your uh, reaction to the, to the contract that was passed here at Chrysler, and then what's happened after that? Uh, I think we've been betrayed a little bit. You know, we were uninformed of a lot of things that went down, uh, and I think it's more to come. Uh, they're talking about American Axle that they'll be uh, giving job guarantees in return for wage cuts now. That the UAW is prepared to accept that. What's uh, what's your reaction to that? Well, I don't like it. I don't think it's true. I don't think it's uh, good for you know the UAW workers at all. You're gonna guarantee a job? You're guaranteeing me a job for 10.50 an hour? That's that's unacceptable to me. Anything less than what we're making now is unacceptable. What about the job guarantees? Yeah. They, those went right out the window. So that's it's basically just all bull. It's on paper, but it doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. All they want us to do is settle so they can get back in and make more money off of our sweat. That, that's all that is to me. In the last contract, didn't they have a no plant closing clause? And what happened at Buffalo? Buffalo and Tonawanda both closed. Well, that, I'm sorry, they're, they're, their words they're using are idled. <laughs> but if they're idled, all the equipment's out of it in here. Buffalo was all down in plant seven and Tonawanda is all in Oxford. So if you're, okay, they're idled, to, what are they, idled warehouses? And that's, we, we, can't, we can't allow that to happen. If this is where we gotta make our stand, this is where we make our stand, right here. What do you feel about the fact that the UAW has accepted these concessions at, at, in, at company after company? At $14 an hour, so-called non-core jobs, et cetera. You know, I, I, it's, that, that's a double-edged sword because I've been UAW for 20 years. I was up truck and bus, I've been here. So, I mean, I've been UAW for 20 years. I also understand that UAW is a business also. You know, they great-grandfather, my grandfather, my dad were all UAW. Now, what they fought for 40 years ago is what I'm reaping the, the benefits off of that now. So what we have to do as a union and the international and locals is stand up and keep that tradition going. We just can't buckle. We can't buckle.